Well, today is a day to celebrate Colorado agriculture and to educate kiddos in grades K through 12 and telling them about healthy eating, why it's important and where their food comes from. Here to tell us more about School Meal Day is Colorado Proud Program Manager Danielle Trotta and James Leslie, who does coordinate, who's coordinator, I'm sorry, for nutrition services for Aurora Public Schools. Hello, you two. Hi. Hi. I tell my girls every single day, are you eating your food at school? Are you eating? I'm getting a yes. And that Good. is great. So, Danielle, I'll start with you. Tell us about Colorado Proud School Meal Day and the initiative behind this. Yes, Colorado Proud School Meal Day with the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Education is a day to show how we can procure so many local foods for our children in schools K through 12 and how that's important to connect um, students with where their food comes from. It, they need to know those things. They do. Oh my gosh. I think as parents, we also need to jump on board with you guys and yes. kind of educate our children as well. Why is this particular education about agriculture important, especially to teach them at a young age? Sure. I mean, it's a $47 billion industry in our state. It provides mm -hmm. 195,000 jobs. And so teaching our children that this is a viable economy, a job, it's important to know where it comes from. Being able to source locally keeps the economy going within our state and jobs here. That's absolutely right. Now, I love that you collaborate so much with schools. What are some creative ways that schools have been celebrating? Yeah. Although they've also jumped on board here. Absolutely. Lots of schools celebrating. We have about 110,000 students today eating local lunches and participating by, we had a school do a corn shucking contest where they shucked <laughs> 3,500 corns. That's awesome. Um, and then we also have uh, education in the classroom, just learning about where your food comes from, talking about it, mm -hmm. and then of course enjoying the meal at lunch. And look at that meal. May I add, uh, that was not my meal when I no, was growing up. It looks and a little different. It looks so good. And then they've got options, I hear, as well nowadays. I did not have options growing up either. Yeah. <laughs> it was whatever I got, that's what I got. Now, James, you are with Denver Public Schools. You're celebrating Aurora. I keep saying Denver. Aurora Public Schools. You guys are celebrating big. And this is also a big deal for you. We are, yes. Yeah. So today for our lunch menu, we are going to be featuring as many items from Colorado grown or manufactured in Colorado as possible. Mm -hmm. So that's how we are celebrating today. That is so neat. Now, James is the person in charge of putting together all the nutrition, all the food that's gonna, that your kiddos are gonna be eating. This is such a neat job as well. Why is that important to you, James? It's important because the kids are the foundation of our community, right? Yes. They're, they're the future. So we want to make sure that we're feeding them and setting them up for success in the classroom and then with healthy habits after they leave school as well. It's such, it's such a big part of their day. Now, let's talk about how you're celebrating today. Do you know what's on the menu for kiddos in Aurora Public I sure school? hope so since I made it. <laughs> but yeah, so we will be featuring a uh, Colorado beef taco today. So we oh, have locally uh, grown uh, ground beef that we have as our base. That's from Boot Heel 7 Ranch. Mm -hmm. And then we are featuring a local tortilla maker, Rocalita's Tortillas. If really? you've heard of them, mm -hmm. very popular in the restaurant industry, but we're trying to bridge the gap and bring that into the yeah. schools. So we have restaurant quality food. Uh, and then everything else you see on this plate is from Colorado, including all the toppings that are on there. So we've sourced all of our beans, the our new Mexican street corn. That's a new recipe we're rolling out just Yum. for today. And our peaches, uh, we have apples and pears and then uh, watermelon all from the Western Slope as well. So I, everything uh, you see on the plate today is from Colorado. That is today. so cool. Kudos to you, James, and the team, and of course to Aurora Public Schools for celebrating such a neat initiative. And how else do you really incorporate teaching kiddos where they're food comes from throughout the rest of the school year, not just today. Right, it's not just one day, like you said, mm -hmm. it's year round. We work a lot with our wellness team to make sure that they're reaching out to the schools uh, and there's usually a wellness champion in every school. So they help run activities, do special uh, events with us as well to learn about where their food comes from or how they can eat better in their own lives, uh, especially with so many different cultures represented in our district, which can be tricky. Yeah. Uh, so we partner a lot with our wellness team to make that happen. But we're yeah. working more and more with uh, the state of Colorado as well to in include that. more things in our schools. So that's how we're doing that at, at Aurora super, Public Schools. Super, super cool. Well, I think this is just wonderful. And Danielle, uh, thank you again for coming on today. The yeah. both of you, uh, I, Envy the kiddos 
I'm going to ask my girls what they had for lunch today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the work that the both of you do. And again, one way to celebrate, well, of course, is by learning more about Colorado agriculture and keeping our kiddos healthy in school by visiting coloradoproud.org. And of course, on that website, you can find so much more. Keep that with you and make it an everyday thing for you and the family.